I'm Julie Lynn Moray and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do my shrimp fried rice. It's easy and it's delicious, so let's get cooking. Cheers! Okay, first let's get started with the shrimp. You want to marinate the shrimp in just a little bit of salt. I say a little bit. I love salt. But this is pink Himalayan, so it's not too salty. We're going to toss that and set it aside. Then you're gonna need three egg yolks. So it's smarter and easier if you just do it into a bowl. So if God forbid you mess up, then um, you don't ruin the rice. So I've got my yolk. I'm gonna drop it into my rice. We got three beautiful yolks right there. I'm gonna set this aside. For those that hate to get their hands dirty, this is not for you, but I'm sure you could use like some gloves or whatever, but we are basically going to get that yolk all in the old rice. You wanna use old rice because if you use warm, fresh rice, it's just gonna be very, very gooey and soggy when you go to fry it. So it's gotta be old. Um, this is week, a week old, weeks old, no, a week old <laughs> rice. Um, I think I made it like, I don't know, last Thursday or something like that. So the older the better, <laughs> assuming it's not um, spoiled. But once you get that and you've coated it nicely, you're gonna set that aside too. And then we're gonna move on to making the shallots. Let's move on to the shallots. You can use garlic if you'd like, or onion. I prefer shallots because it's a beautiful flavor of both. I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm going to peel off the skin because you don't want any of that in it. And then we're going to fry it. So let's start to get our wok heated because you really want a very hot wok when you go to fry. So we're going to Cut the shallot in small, fine pieces. This is like a step-by-step -step process and it gets a little bit irritating because you have to like fry some stuff and then take it out. But we're gonna start with the shrimp. Use a paper bowl. Paper bowls are great because then you can just throw them away. But we're gonna start with a little bit of oil. I love this little thing. It's a spray bottle of olive oil that's especially made for sauteing. Now I'm going to add in the shallots. And then toss that. Once it's about 90% to 95% done, I'm gonna take it out and remove it because you do not want to overcook shrimp. It becomes very, very rubbery. So make sure you have a paper bowl or something that you can um, remove and set aside so they don't overcook. And then we're gonna fold these back in later. So I'm gonna put the wok back on. I've set this shrimp aside. It's now time to fry the rice. I'm going to put a little bit more oil because we're frying rice. So that's important. We're gonna throw this yummy yolk coated old rice into the pan and we're gonna leave it. And just let it sit. Once you've let it sit for just a second, you want it then constantly toss it. And we're going to throw in the shrimp, the peas, toss this. Now this is an extra step. You definitely don't have to do it this way, but I love to add in a little bit more egg yolk. Um, I just think it adds another level of flavor and it makes it easy to mold if you wanna do this for a fancy dinner. 
and you can put it into a bowl and then I'll show you how to do it in a second um, and present it. So we're going to quickly get the yolk. Nope, we're gonna throw that in there. Don't get too excited, I guess, when you do this, huh? That's the uh, moral of the story, because then you mess up. Two, and one more. And I'm just trying to remove the yolk from the white part. Perfect, and then I'm gonna throw that into the rice. And then we're going to toss this back in. You can do this in a regular pan if you have, but um, it's much easier to do in a wok and to use two um, spatulas or spoons or wooden spoons, whatever is easier for you to maneuver. Um, but see how it coats the rice? Makes it that beautiful yellow. Then we're going to add in either salt or the soy sauce. I try not to add in too much soy sauce because I feel like people automatically want to add soy sauce in to the fried rice once they're served. So I just do a little bit to give it some color and some flavor. So for that last step, before we cut the chives and we go to plate it, you're gonna add about, I don't know, a tablespoon or two of soy sauce. And a lot of people like sesame oil. I personally prefer it without sesame oil, but for the sake of this video and for you to do it at home, we're gonna do it with the sesame oil. The great thing about fried rice is you can do, um, you can make it however you like. You can do it with whatever proteins and whatever um, vegetables you'd like. We're gonna take this mixture of soy sauce and sesame oil and then pour it in. We're gonna give it one last toss. And this is why you wanna take the shrimp off just a couple seconds before it's actually ready so that you don't overcook it because it's gonna have to sit and be tossed in with the rice and the um, peas and carrots and all that good stuff at the end. All right, now it's time to plate it. Let's see if I can do this first. I'm going to do, um, cut a little bit of the chives. So we have the chives cut for the end part. We're gonna turn this off, remove it from the heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in my bowl so that hopefully the rice doesn't stick. And let's see if I can't make this look beautiful. Hold on. I'm going to carefully place a shrimp at the bottom of my bowl so that you see that on top. And a couple around the edges for presentation purposes. You do not have to serve it like this, but if I have friends coming over, I try to make it fancy. And then we're gonna add in the rice that has a ton of egg yolk, which I love. But my favorite part about fried rice is actually the egg. So now when we go to flip this over, God willing it works, um, it will look pretty. So I'm going to pack it in so I can create this mold. And I'm going to take my plate and top it. And then I'm going to flip it and pray that it comes out. take a couple of these chives and just sprinkle them on the plate and call it a day. Now, you don't have to serve it like this, but I just think it's so fancy to do it this way. And there you have it, my shrimp fried rice. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Thank you so much. Bon appetit.